In order to install the Linux Mint on a new laptop, we first need to download its uh, ISO image and then create a bootable USB drive uh, with the application called Rufus. Also, there are other applications that you could use as well, but I prefer Rufus. So first we have to go and download the Cinnamon Edition. Uh, there are different editions of Mint. There's the Cinnamon Edition, there's XFCE Edition, and also Mint Edition. Just choose preferably uh, whichever you want. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to download the Cinnamon Edition. Just click on the download button right here. And here you see the information about this ISO image. It's about three gigabytes in size. It has the installation guide, release announcement, also release notes. Just come down here and uh, click whichever works for you. I'm going to go through with the Linux Mint or I can also go with the uh, Clarkson uh, University USA and it should automatically download here or start the download uh, here. Let's just wait for a bit. Yep, it's gonna install the download here, as you can see in the Linux Mint 22.2. So now we have to wait for this to download. And then meanwhile, uh, you can go to this uh, Rufus and try to download this also. Make sure to choose the language here. The language should be English International or whichever language that you are um, comfortable with. And then come here and uh, you do have you have the option to download the standard option or the type or portable and also there are x66 and also 64. I would go and download the latest version for the standard one. Click on this one and it should also start downloading uh, on the top corner here. Uh, we're gonna see it in a second. Yep, as you can see, both of them are now downloading. This one is already done. It's, it was just two MBs, two, two megabytes. And this one is, since it's almost three gigabytes, it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna continue when it's uh, down downloading. So now that the downloads for Linux Mint and also the Rufus are done, we do have it right here, as you can see. We do have the Linux Mint and also the Rufus. What you got to do is just click uh, on the Rufus to launch it. Uh, okay. And then let me bring it up here. So as you can see, it automatically detects my USB drive here, which is a 16 gigabytes uh, USB drive. Make sure to back up any important files that you have inside your USB drive because it's going to format it. So first you have to do is just go to devices, choose the, it automatically detects your uh, USB drives, but if you have plugged in multiple USB drives, just make sure to choose the right one. And then it's ask the boot selection, disk or ISO image. I think we're gonna go with disk or ISO image because we're gonna go here. And, and then as you can see, Linux Mint here, open that, then that's selected. So do you want to persistent partition signs? No, we don't want any persistent because we are not gonna live boot the uh, Linux Mint uh, on this USB. We just needed to install it. Leave the rest of the uh, options uh, on default. Uh, if you want to change the name of the volume label on this one, change it. Otherwise, I would just put it the same and hit or click start. It's going to uh, do a, show you a pop-up message that write in ISO image mode, which is recommended. Uh, say OK. And this image uses syslink, whatever application only includes the installation files for OK. I would say yes. And then there is the, as, as, as mentioned, uh, the warning that all data on the device CSPD will be destroyed. So if you have any important files, make sure to take a get a backup of it. Uh, otherwise, just click OK. For me, I don't have anything there, so I'm going to just hit OK. OK. Multiple partitions. OK. It's OK. It's going to delete everything and then write this, uh, the Linux Mint ISO image on that. Now we got to wait for this to finish. It's now copying the ISO files. And we'll see you guys when it's done. So now it's ready uh, to be used. I'm gonna close this one. I can show you here if you go to this, let's say this PC, as you can see, this is the Linux Mint. So it's, we do have the bootable USB drive right here and it's ready to go. So now what we can do is just uh, turn on our laptop or if you have uh, a PC or if you have a, for example, a Chromebook, we can just plug the USB drive onto that and start putting it and installing the Linux Mint on it. And that's how you can create a bootable USB drive for Linux Mint using the Rufus. 
and thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you want more tutorials on linux mint or any other topic that you want drop a comment and i would be more than happy to create and thanks for watching see you in the next video